Hey everybody, Henry Finn here. Everybody loves money. Everybody loves getting paid. But you know what's better than getting paid? Getting paid to do what you love. And so in today's video, we're gonna teach you how to get your first paying videography client utilizing those filmmaking skills that you have. So these tips I'm gonna give you are specific tactics that I've used early in my career to get business, and everybody can do this, okay? So I'm gonna make it really easy for you. Number one, Craigslist, okay? Craigslist is a very valuable place to build your portfolio and find your first paying clients. So first what you wanna do is you wanna put up a post saying, hey, this is my production company. If anybody needs a brand video, please contact me and then link your website. Uh, conversely, you also wanna spend some time every day, it just takes about 10 minutes a day to go through the posts that people are putting up looking for work, okay? So you get a lot of people asking for uh, brand videos or wedding stuff, you know, things like that. and. The name of the game is being consistent and answering quickly, you know? So when somebody puts up a post, you wanna respond really quickly, introduce yourself a little bit, talk about uh, why you're interested in uh, answering their posts and working for them so that you demonstrate that you uh, care about their cause immediately. And then you link them with your work, you know? And again, this is why setting up your business correctly is really important. Having a website, even if you just have one video on there, is really, really important. If you don't have a website or any work, then you also have to tell them up front that, hey, I'm a beginning videographer, you know, I saw your post, I really wanna work with you, and um, I'll give you a discounted rate in exchange for being part of my portfolio. Next thing you wanna do is reach out to local production companies and offer assistance working for them. So the thing is, most established production companies will have people that they work with, but they're always looking for more people, okay? And when you first reach out to a production company, you just wanna offer help in any way possible. A great way to get your foot in the door is to offer to help promote them. So you could say, hey, I'm a be beginning videographer, I would love, I love your work, I would love to work with you. If you're comfortable with it, I'll shoot a behind the scenes video of you on your next production and I'll give you a discounted rate in exchange for being a part of my portfolio and a testimony. You know, And again, the key there for both of those is even if you don't have a lot of work, you wanna let them know that this is a business exchange, right? This is not just like you trying to like latch on to what they're doing. You have to offer something to them, but you're also asking for something. So that's why you always wanna make sure that you put in there that the terms that you also want the ability to use them in your portfolio and that you're gonna ask for a testimonial if they're happy with your work, you know? And when also when you're reaching out to these production companies, um, you could just offer to assist. Cause even if you're not operating a camera or something in the beginning, just being on set is so valuable. You know, you're gonna learn so much from being around people and seeing how they do things. And then the cool thing about that is that if you do a good job, which means you just work hard and you learn quickly from your mistakes or whatever it is, then they're gonna keep bringing you back. You know, they're gonna start referring you or a bigger uh, company might give you the smaller jobs that they don't wanna do. So it's also good because it helps you build a relationship and build a reputation in the community. So I definitely, definitely recommend in the very beginning reaching out to local production houses and offering to help them in any way possible. Definitely don't have an ego about it, otherwise you're gonna look like an asshole. All right, so the third tactic that you can do to build your business and get your first paying client is to hit up your friends list. Basically, if you go through your friends list on Facebook or LinkedIn, there's gonna be people who own their own business or who are managers of businesses or who are just brands, personal brands that are trying to get out there. And what you wanna do is you wanna reach out to them and offer them a one to two minute video highlighting a specific uh, aspect that they want to promote, whether it's the business itself or an event or a product. The point is that you're going to go ahead and offer them a product and you're going to have a set price for them before you offer it to them. So uh, that's number three. 
So the fourth tactic that I use in the beginning to build my paying clients list is I went to my local businesses. Because the thing is, everybody has a community around them. And what you want to do is you want to basically figure out who you have the closest relationships with already and just go to them in an open and honest manner and say, hey, like i am got a budding videography business. I'm looking to increase my portfolio. I'm willing to give you a really good deal for this video if you're willing to allow me to also use you as a portfolio piece and get a testimonial if you're happy with it. So again, you're offering a one to two minute highlight video for their business. If it's a business that you've frequented often, then they're really it's gonna be really easy for them to say yes because they know that you've already been supporting them and they're gonna to wanna to support you back. Which is also why, you know, when you go to your local businesses, you should say hi to people. You should introduce yourself. You should ask them how the business is going. You know, if there's anything that that they're trying to accomplish, you know, in terms of their goals. And as you get to know them more, then when it comes time to ask them for something, which is their help, you know, or money, <laughs> then it, it, it just really takes away a lot of those objections, you know. And for you, it's a great way to start because you're more comfortable already, you know. It's kind of scary for a lot of people, like, selling to their first client because they don't know what to say, they're really nervous about closing the deal, and they're afraid of rejection, you know. So that's why hitting up your friends and local businesses first is a great way to avoid that, and it eases you into the process, you know. The fifth and final tactic that I would use to get my first paying client, if I were to do it all over again, is to look at my local publications. You know, every city or town has some sort of newspaper, newsletter, magazine, something that highlights, you know, the community aspect. And in those publications or website, there are businesses who have ads in there. And guess what? Those people have paid for those ads. And if they paid for those ads, that means they'll pay for more services. So to me, I'm always looking for clients that are already spending money on their marketing. So that way it's less, you, you, you need to convince them less, but it's about whether they should spend the money and it's more about convincing them to spend the money on you. So there we have it. Those are the five ways to get your first paying client. And I know it's still a little bit scary if you haven't done it yet. Don't worry, I've been there. So what I'm gonna do to make it easier for you is I'm gonna provide a link in the description to download a cheat sheet kit which has basically a checklist and multiple scripts that you can use. You can literally copy and paste this and put it in an email and just change the beginning part so that they know that it's not copied and pasted. And, and send it to the people that you wanna do business with. And I promise you, if you do this enough times, somebody is going to pay you. like a um, situation where like a random hand comes. Ah! I'm just kidding. All right. Um, okay.